hello there. How you? Oh, oh, hello, hello, hello. Crow, crow, crow. What, what? Oh, right. Um, hello. Uh, what? Oh, crow, 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 crow. Crow, what are you doing? Oh, crow. Well, I know Crow's busy at this time because I've seen him doing lots of jobs around the house. He's got a friend coming to stay. I, I wonder what things he's been doing. Shall we have a look at some of the things he's been doing today? You know, I think we need to get Crow to settle down and calm down a little bit. So after three, let's say, Crow, have a rest. So can we do that? One, two, three. Crow, have a rest. Ah, there you are, Crow. Now you've been really busy and sometimes that's good, but sometimes you need to sit and relax and have a rest. And you know what? You remind me of two friends of Jesus called Mary and Martha. Shall we hear about them now? <coughs> Mary and Martha were sisters and they lived in a place called Bethany with their brother Lazarus. I'm not sure how they first met Jesus, but they'd all become good friends. One day, Lazarus was out when there was a knock at the door. Martha was in the middle of doing some baking, but stopped what she was doing and rushed to the door. She opened it and saw Jesus. Oh, hello, Jesus. Come in. I'm just in the middle of baking some bread. Martha called to Mary that Jesus was there and she dashed back to the kitchen shouting, do you want a drink, Jesus? Just give me a minute and I'll whip up some cakes for you. She started work on the cakes, but then remembered that the floor needed cleaning. She dashed in to do it before Jesus noticed. Then she ran back to the kitchen, nearly, nearly tripping over Mary on the way. Mary was just sitting, chatting with Jesus listening to all the important things he had to say. Martha, sit down. That's not important, Jesus said. Take a break. But Martha carried on, diving between the kitchen and the dusting, the kitchen and the tidying, the chairs, the kitchen and the spare room, just in case Jesus decided to stay the night. Every time she looked for Mary, Mary was sitting there chatting to Jesus. At last, Martha got fed up and went to Jesus. Jesus, can't you see I'm rushed off my feet doing all the work? Can't you tell Mary to do something? She's just being lazy. Jesus sighed. You're so stressed about so many things when only one is really needed. I want to spend time with you. I've got important things for both of you to hear. I won't stop Mary listening to me. She's doing the right thing. Come and join us. Sometimes we need to be busy, but other times we need to sit and rest, to listen and to learn and to think. Helping people is important, otherwise they won't have time to rest and they'll get upset. Jesus wanted Martha to rest and to join Mary. He wanted them to listen to him. Sometimes we get so busy doing things that we forget to rest and to say thank you for the good things around us. I want you to be still and quiet now. I'm not going to say anything for a few seconds. I'm going to let you rest and think what is important and good in your life. If you believe in God, you can say thank you to him for the good things in your life. So let's be quiet now. Thank you. Jesus kept in touch with Mary and Martha and Lazarus. One day when Jesus was far away, Lazarus became ill. He got worse and worse. Mary and Martha sent for the doctor, but no one seemed to be able to help Lazarus. Then Mary said, why don't we send for Jesus? He's helped make other people better. Perhaps he can help. So that's just what they did. Now Jesus did something a bit odd. He didn't set off straight away, but waited around for a couple of days. His friends were a bit puzzled. 
They knew how much Jesus cared for Lazarus. Then, one day, Jesus said, Let's go to Bethany now. Somehow he knew that the worst thing had happened. Lazarus had died. Jesus and his friends set out to see Mary and Martha. When Jesus got near Bethany, Martha went out to meet him. She was upset that her brother had died, but she was angry too. If you'd been here, you could have done something, Martha snapped. Why didn't you come and help? Jesus looked at her sadly. Your brother will come back to life. Martha didn't understand what Jesus was planning. She went and told Mary that Jesus was there. Mary also told him off for not coming sooner. Jesus asked them to take him to the place where Lazarus was buried. Lazarus hadn't been buried like people are today. He'd been put into a cave and a stone had been put over the entrance. Jesus just stood there and did what anyone would do. He cried. Even though Jesus knew what was going to happen, he was still sad. Sometimes sad things happen to us and Jesus knows what it's like so we can talk to him about it. Talking to other people might help too. After a while, Jesus told the people there to move the stone from over the cave mouth. They were a bit puzzled, but they did what Jesus told them. And then Jesus called, Lazarus, come out. The people thought Jesus couldn't have understood or was playing some really, really bad joke. But then they saw something moving in the cave. They peered closer and saw a figure all wrapped in bandages. It stepped forward. They gasped and were a little bit scared. And then Jesus told them to get rid of the bandages. Quickly, Mary and Martha rushed forward and unwrapped them to reveal Lazarus. He'd come back to life. Can you imagine how happy and amazed everyone was? There were several Marys in Jesus' life, so we're not sure if the Mary I'm going to mention now is the same one or a different one. Some people think it's the same person. At Easter, Jesus died. Mary would have been really upset again. She would have wondered what to do next and what was going to happen. She would have been puzzled. She went to see where Jesus had been buried. He'd been buried in a cave, just like Lazarus. And while she was there, she met a man that she thought was the gardener. Then, suddenly, she realised that it was Jesus. He'd come alive again, just like her brother Lazarus. She was overjoyed, but Jesus told her that he wasn't going to be staying around for long. She must have been confused and puzzled again. What was going to happen next? But now she knew that Jesus was alive and she could talk to him at any time, even if he wasn't there next to her. She was good at listening to him and she needed to carry on doing that. This has been a funny year. Lots of strange things has happened. Some might have been happy and some might have been sad. Let's remember the happy things especially and remember to talk to people if sad things still upset us. Mary wasn't sure what would happen next and we might not be either. We might soon be moving to a new class or a new school. Things might be changing. If we get worried, we need to find people to talk to, just like Mary talked to Jesus. Some people might get excited by change and the chance of a fresh start and we can tell people how excited we are too. Whichever type of people you are, let's remember to talk to people about how we feel and that we can talk to Jesus too and ask him to help us. If I don't see you again before the summer, I hope you have a good rest and look forward to seeing you again next year. Bye for now.